craftsmanship which go into this vast industry. The great project of the St. Lawrence Seaway has many aspects, one of which is the deepening of existing channels and canals. This is a round-the-clock job, for the river is soon expected to be frozen up for the winter months. The plan is to provide a navigational passage, 27 feet deep, the whole length of the seaway, from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic, a mammoth task in itself. But dredging and deepening are only part of the story. For the St. Lawrence Seaway is also a power project on a huge scale. This aspect is to cost about $600 million, but it will have a power potential of 10 million horsepower, most of it for Canada, the rest for the States. Enormous locks are being built at many points along the route. In the first 120 miles downriver from Lake Ontario, there's a drop of over 90 feet and existing locks are being replaced by larger and deeper ones to accommodate bigger cargoes. Another aspect of the giant scheme involves moving house in a big way. They literally pick up a house and take it away on wheels. 500 have already been moved to make way for a vast new lake. Buildings that can't be wheeled away are left derelict. Their day is done. But Canada looks ahead to the time when ships four times the size of the present St. Lawrence cargo carriers will take grain to the seaports and return with coal and iron. A huge investment, the Seaway, which will pay dividends in the future progress of expanding Canada. All choir 